It is Sunday, everyone! Sunday, the day... Uh, uh, Jesus had a breakfast and everyone did the Last Supper thing. I don't know. It's just, it's, it's random. It's random. Forget it. Forget it. <laughs> um, I want to talk about the energy shift <clears throat> and what the fuck happened at 6 p.m. this morning. Holy shit. So, I was sleeping, peace, peace and quiet, I was dreaming. Boom! Random amount of energy just rushed through my head. Especially in my pineal gland. I could feel it so hard. Like, I just walked around the house three times, and I was in my bed with these bulging eyes. Like, like I could not go to sleep. And then, gone. Just fell asleep. It was like... And before I was going to bed, sorry I'm so loud, I'm excited, my hands, my body was all like overly tingling. Like when you have so much energy in you that's flowing, you can feel it in every part of your body. And the cool thing was, just with my mind, I was able to move it to any part of my body I wanted. That didn't happen throughout the whole day, just at night. Pardon. And... I want to speak to you, all you beautiful people, <laughs> about <coughs> a video I found yesterday. I didn't make a video yesterday on it because I wasn't sure to, but for the first time, I instead of just a spiritual video saying, there's an energy shift coming, man, <laughs> like, I've actually found physical evidence that there is energy being pushed towards the earth. So a guy um, was showing graphs and live, a live, um, God, what's it called? A diagram, a moving diagram, a, I can't think of the word, but you probably can. You will. <laughs> um, he was looking at a picture a live picture of how strong radiation from the sun is being pointed at the Earth right now. And believe it or not, something in space is pulling the Earth, it's pulling the Earth's axis slightly downward. That is why we all, right now, have seen like time is speeding up and slowing down, it's speeding up and time doesn't mean anything. Also, it's changing if your emotions have changed, like happy, sad, happy, strange, sad, happy, depressed, happy. If, if your emotions are changing rapidly, if you're getting tired and then having bursts of energy, that is because, that is because something in space is letting off massive amounts of radiation and it is not the sun, which is surprising. I believe it is another planet and it is moving our planet. It is slightly turning our planet. The poles, the south and the north pole, magnetic field-wise, are being shifted. That's why we're all out of control right now. I knew there was a physical reason. I mean, that other video that said all the planets are going to align December 1st, um, that was pretty useful. But I wanted an actual diagram in front of my face of what is happening at this current moment. And I found it. On accident, actually. You'll find a lot of useful videos if you filter out the top results and see the most recent videos. And this Christian dude was the one showing everyone. And he just kept saying, I do not know what is happening here. This is so confusing. An energy shift is happening. It's not like a belief. It's a scientific proven thing that's happening right now. I'm not going to be offensive towards Christians or anything. But the way Christians think is that if something bad is happening, it's God. If something good is happening, it's God. Only God knows our plan. <laughs> Blow my brains out. When there is physical evidence in front of you, physical, it's right there. You can see it happening in current time. Like, 
<laughs> time. <coughs> you can see it happening in front of your face. How is that not evidence right there? Oh my God. And the reason the weather is all fucked is one, because of Harp, that jackass company that fucks with the weather. And two, it's from the poles shifting because of Harp. <clears throat> Harp is fucking with our atmosphere. Harp is the company that has thousands of satellites that are giant, skyscraper size, that can fuck with the Earth's magnetic field. And when you fuck with the Earth's electromagnetic field too much, it fucks with one people, two, the weather, three, it fucks with time. Yeah. Time seems to be slower or faster. You can thank Harp for that. Four, <coughs> it changes people's electromagnetic field. So when you have Harp messing with everything, <coughs> it's going to mess with people. Does that make sense to you? Try to imprint God into that logic. Try to tell me, in this video, I dare you, how God has any, any correlation to that. And if you say to me, only God knows what's going to happen, only God knows the plan, I will come to your house and stab you eight times. I won't really, but I want to. Honestly. Get it through your goddamn head to it. I get it, Christians. I get it. You have something in your heart that is bothering you. You have some deep emotional turmoil that fucked with you as a kid or as an adult. And you didn't face it. Instead, you said, God will protect me. God will do all these things for me. God, 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 when it's really the theory of relativity. That is all you are using. You're using subconscious engineering. That's all you're doing. There is no man in the sky. And don't say, oh, you haven't read the Bible. No, I read the Old Testament. You can't say something is this and then just say, oh, uh, people don't agree with it now, so we're just going to rewrite it. Humans rewrite it. That's why there, when you go to Borders or Barnes & Noble, there are 500 books on the Bible. It's every person on this planet's different idea of the Bible. What else can I say? What else can I say? I just proved something to you. Tell me how I'm wrong. Just tell me. And I got the most retarded comment in my last video. Now I'm going to talk calm, because I got my feelings out, which felt pretty good. Christians, you guys should try to get your feelings out instead of suppress them and use God as something that will protect you, when really, God is made up by man. Yeah. Bye, everyone. I hope this logic helped you, and I hope this logic taught you something. The Earth's poles are shifting. Oh, and before I go, the Christians have, or the Catholics, or whatever, religion is telling us that the world is going to end. December 1st. Because that's when the planets are going to align and shoot a massive amount of solar radiation to the Earth. So everyone thinks... We're, if you go on Wikipedia, before I go, if you go on Wikipedia and you type in, you type in all the false flags of the world ending, there are more than a hundred of them. Everyone thinks the world is going to end when they get paranoid and then paranoia spreads. Don't be paranoid. Get on with your life. Stop being paranoid. Have a happy life and stop being paranoid. Bye.